What's going on guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. You know, one thing it may be too early to do, at least in Barcelona right now, is enjoy a beverage and a late night snack. But one thing it's never too early to do is check out PhoneDog.com on the new Samsung Galaxy S 10.1. It's the newest tablet from Samsung and it was just announced this evening at Samsung Unpacked in Barcelona. So let's walk through the specs really quickly here. It has a uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz NVIDIA processor, so super fast in everything that it uh, everything that it does. Let's see if we can get a demo real quick. And the interesting thing about this device, you know, it's one of those devices that's running Android 3.0. It's my first hands-on time with Android 3.0, so you can see, you know, totally different experience, optimized for a tablet, fantastic, responsive, as you can see, just in initial testing. Let's see if we can go back. Just to get an idea, I mean, incredibly fast, much better than what we've seen, you know, even on the previous Galaxy S uh, Tab or Galaxy Tab devices with Android 2.2. It's just definitely optimized for a tablet. 10.1 inch display, though, the interesting thing is it doesn't feel like a 10.1 inch display, if that makes any sense. I like the fact that on the back you have these kind of curved, uh, curved handles, so it's easier to hold on to. Nice Samsung logo, 8 megapixel camera on the back, 2 megapixel camera. Uh, on the front for video calling, you can see there. So just so you know, it's 11 millimeters thin, so an incredibly thin device, and it's 599 grams, uh, 1.5 pounds, 21 ounces, depending on your way of measuring. So at any, at any rate, super light tablet, super thin tablet, and it looks great to boot. No word on pricing or availability just yet. But again, you know, just looks fantastic, and it is a Google experience device, so there's no, uh, there's no TouchWiz user interface, so for those of you that don't like TouchWiz, you don't have to worry about it because it's not coming on this device. This is definitely you know, a huge competitor to the Motorola Zoom and it's nice to actually get our hands on, a little bit of hands on time with it as opposed to a video running on Honeycomb. No offense to, uh, to Motorola, but that seems to be the trend as of late. So it's nice to see that, uh, that we're getting some hands on time with it. So uh, anyway, as I said, you know, Google uh, Android 3.0, Honeycomb, Google Experience, dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor. It's going to uh, support and shoot 1080p HD video our video playback rather and record and then as of now there are no US plans to bring this device to the market but you know as with most things hey, if it comes to Europe it probably at some point is going to come to the US. Much more coverage on this and other products at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain live from well probably one of the coolest places actually not the hotel but the city. Uh, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage.